Signal control can synthesize splitters, couplers, balons, or attenuators. To start, synthesize a new signal control design. We'll start with the factory default values. Now you'll see three windows. There's the signal control properties, the frequency response, and the schematic. Select a type using the type drop-down menu. You can select from splitters, which have equal signal levels at each output port. Couplers, which extract a fixed amount of an input signal. Balons, which connect balance and unbalanced signals. Or attenuators, which reduce the power of a signal. Let's take a closer look at splitters. There's three different types of splitters. Each type is described by the phase difference of the output. Each type of splitter has multiple classes. For example, the zero degree splitter that we're on right now has three classes. There's Wilkinson splitter, which uses transmission lines and resistors. Transformer, which uses transformers and resistors. And resistor, which is just a simple resistive splitter. Some of the classes have subclasses. For example, Wilkinson has three subclasses. There's quarter wave, which uses transmission lines and one resistor. There's loaded, which uses transmission lines, capacitors, and one resistor. This gives it a smaller physical size than the quarter wave. And there's lumped, which replaces all transmission lines with their part equivalents. Other splitter types will have different classes and subclasses. Some designs will require a substrate. For example, the Lange coupler. When you select one of these designs, Genesis will prompt you to load a substrate. Genesis comes with many substrates. You should pick a substrate that suits your design requirements. For example, I'll pick Rogers half ounce 30 mil. Now the design will be synthesized using the actual characteristics of that substrate. For more information about types, classes, and subclasses, look at the help menu. Go to Help, Synthesis, Signal Control, Signal Control Types, Classes, and Subclasses. Each class has a page about it. Each page gives useful advice and examples. For more information, look in the Summary tab for your design. Here you will find some useful hints for the specific design you have selected. OK, let's go back to Splitter 0 degrees. And we'll look at the Settings tab. Here you can see the settings. There's Reference Impedance for the design, Coupling, which is the input power at the output ports. For splitters, coupling is automatically set by the number of outputs. Isolation of outputs, which is how isolated the output ports are from each other. Input reflection, which is the amount of reflected signal loss at each port. Frequency range. Outputs, which for splitters can go up to 5. Each time the output number is changed, the coupling will change too. Number of sections, or more sections, will increase the bandwidth. and the length of the I.O. lines in degrees, which is used to physically separate the lines. Isolation and reflection are optimization goals. Let's look at the optimization menu to see how that works. We'll look at the goals tab. Here you can see the isolation, which is optimized over the whole frequency range. Reflection, which is also optimized over the whole frequency range and coupling, which is optimized around the center frequency. Coupling is weighted higher than isolation or reflection. This means that the optimizer will try harder to optimize coupling. Each optimization goal is also shown on the graph. The colors of the goals correspond to the measurement colors. Now let's look at the Variables tab. 
Variables are the component values that Genesis adjusts to optimize the design. These include transmission line impedance, transmission line length, and the resistor value. Other splitters have similar settings. For example, the 90 degree branch line splitter. Let's look at the options tab. Here you can create a layout for your design. Start by selecting the manufacturing process. There are 11 processes available. For this example, I'll use MicroStrip standard. It will be designed using the substrate that we already loaded. Now just press OK, and the design is converted, and the simulation is updated. Now just press Create a Layout, and Genesis will automatically convert the design into a physical layout. Sometimes the parts in the layout will need to be manually reconnected. Just press Ctrl A on the schematic to select all of them. Go to Layout and connect selected parts. Because of the frequency selection, this design is pretty large. I'll adjust it to a higher frequency so you can see the difference. I'll change the low frequency to 4 GHz and the high frequency to 6 GHz. Genesis warns you that this will override the manual changes we made. Just click Yes. Now the layout is a lot smaller. However, the response has been altered by the layout design. We'll fix it using optimization. Just left click on the optimization and run it. Genesis will automatically adjust component values to fix the response. Stop the optimization when it stops making progress. Now the response is centered on the frequency and the layout has been updated. Clear the graph checkpoints to see only the new response. This splitter design is complete. However, not all layouts are as easy to lay out as the one we just did. Layouts with passive components are more difficult to design. This zero degree Wilkinson splitter has a resistor in it. We'll create the layout. And reconnect the parts. But it's still not perfect. The resistor footprint isn't wide enough for the transmission lines. This could be fixed by using a different sized resistor or adjusting the line lengths. You want something that looks like this. It could also be fixed by using arcs instead of lines. Genesis could even be configured to optimize the arcs. You should look online for more information on this, but generally you want something that looks like this. Okay, let's look at couplers. They're designed pretty similarly to splitters. There are two main types of couplers, 0 degree and 90 degree. 0 degree coupler has two classes. Ninety degree coupler has four classes. Look in the help menu for additional information about classes and subclasses. I'll do an example with the Lange coupler. It has no subclasses. Under settings you can adjust coupling, which changes how much of the signal is extracted, and number of sections, where more sections will increase the bandwidth. Let's make a layout for this design. This layout is also physically large at low frequencies. I'll adjust the low frequency to 7 GHz and the high frequency to 10 GHz. Now it's a much more reasonable size. Let's optimize it. The Lange coupler is all one part, so no need to connect the different parts. Coupler design complete. Now that you've seen me do it, open up Genesis and design your own splitter, coupler, balon, or attenuator.